happy vlogtober week four it's crazy that this is the last week of october because to me it's like crazy that spooky season really is only a month because for me september is like back to school month it's like get your life together month and then it's only october that's like spooky season and then november december it's like christmas time it's gone by so fast so i really want to soak up like the leaves falling and you know it's not freezing yet and to celebrate the start of vlogtober week four i actually get to go to campus again because the strike is over so let's go to school i just arrived at the bus stop so some days i can't get out of my bed some days i'm waking up on the wrong side of my head p.m. I got home from school at around 4 so I've just been eating dinner and I filmed a clip with my mom doing a spookopoly update for vlogtober week 3. So today's kind of a weird period because I'm wrapping up vlogtober week 3 and I'm starting vlogtober week 4 because it is technically week 4 but I didn't really have enough content in week 3 to feel comfortable just putting that out there. But this evening I'm gonna keep these good vibes going and I'm going to get some work done on YouTube and for school. We're gonna have a cozy evening just doing those little things. So I have a list of things I want to get done before I go to sleep tonight. And the first thing is going to be to update my content calendar looking at November and what my goals are for videos I wanna get out and when, as well as thinking about setting goals for 2024 because on December 1st, I will have had this channel for a year and I just want to like look at things I might want to change so maybe I want a new YouTube banner on my channel or I want a new profile picture or I want a new subscriber goal or certain like video ideas or big project videos I want to put out. So I'm gonna look at the videos for November as well as like the overall picture. I'm also gonna update my Notion which has like all the video ideas I did have for 2023 and just seeing like what ones I wanna keep and what ones I'm just gonna scratch. Then after that, I'm going to set up for tomorrow. So I'm gonna make my lunch, pick up my clothes, pack my bag. I'm leaving here at 8 a.m. tomorrow so that I can do my volunteer work in my um, local elementary and high schools as part of my program. So I'm just gonna be prepared for that. And then I'm going to also, my goal is to submit my research proposal for my geography class. And I'm gonna make a thumbnail. So not a lot of serious stuff. Most nights I just can't wait to lie down. So tired from my thoughts that keep on swirling around me. I just did my little YouTube things. Now I need to do my research proposal for geography. And I've already like done all of the thinking. I just need to like write the actual proposal. Hopefully it won't take too long. I basically am just answering like 10 questions about my plan for the assignment, my resources that I'm gonna use, and like how I'm gonna go about this research. Yeah.
halfway through this proposal. I am having the actual toughest time getting this done. It's not even a hard assignment. I just can't think about anything. I'm so tired. It's 8.30 now. I've tried multiple things. I've tried getting food to motivate me so I can have a snack after each like point. I do okay, what to do? Do I go to sleep and wake up early? Like what is the vibe? Because it's not geography. Geography is not the vibe. So I decided that a better use of my time would be to make my lunch for tomorrow. So that's what we're doing. This is what we are making. It is not my finest culinary endeavor, but that's what we are doing tonight. And now I'm going to crack out the rest of my proposal in bed. Hi, so it is the next day and I just finished my volunteer work at the elementary school. I'm just waiting at the high school. I'm just eating my lunch. But of course, I got a coffee. This is the pumpkin spice latte, which is delicious. making a fairy house pumpkin so we need to forage a little bit for our things but it's coming along so cute so proud jack is making the wall of flesh jack how's it going terrible to be honest eli it's going well my friend nostalgia i found you when i heard the sweet sound of the ones who i once knew so well in a voice memo from years ago We were laughing about some nonsense Oh how I miss those friends Circumstances made it So that I'll never see their faces Except for on the internet Where I'll never really know What's going on But I miss my And then I guess I could check in about a hustle. <laughs> Mom's gonna read her book for and possibly my final yeah. book. I forgot what it was called. But I'm also gonna have a bonus book. Which is uh Capital, because I'm listening to the audiobook of that and I'm gonna try and get it done before Tuesday. So, so I'm gonna do some boring things. Those fans. Circumstances made it so that I'll never see their faces. Except for on the internet Where I'll never really know What's going on But I miss smile I mean I guess I could check in Once in a while to see them, but clear 
today is October 30th, and if you don't know, that means Spookopoly, which is me and Mom's reading challenge, is going to end tomorrow. And we both have not finished our challenge, like, at all. Not even close. So, we need to fuel up with some Slurpees, get some tings. Like, what time is it? It's 7, so pray for us. because I know this is really going to excite you um I got I got the root beer mixed with a little bit of Dr. Pepper mom got the root beer with a drizzle of lime so we are very exciting people So it's Halloween. Okay, so today is Halloween, and so we came to give a spookopoly update. I had four books to read, and mom had three because I rolled doubles. So I'm not going to be finishing my last book, which is The Dead Romantics, um, because I just started it today and I'm only on page 10. But last night when we attempted our little reading marathon, I did finish The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, which I had very high hopes for. I had been wanting to read it for a long time, especially with the wave of cozy fantasy. And this was a book that I really, really needed to give a part star to. So on Goodreads, like it'll say I give it three stars, um, but I really need to put emphasis on that, it is a 3.5, 3.75 book. I just cannot give it four stars because when I tell you the romance in this book was so bad and I was so disappointed by it. And the fact that it is not a book that relies on really a big plot, it really did need this romance. And so there was just nothing happening. And the plot twist was very predictable and it wasn't even good but it did have good vibes and it did have good characters and I was not annoyed by the fact that the main characters, a lot of them were children because they were entertaining. So I was fine with that. Honestly, it was more of a Christmas book. I can't lie. Mom! <laughs> okay, so I finished my second book, which was The Lighthouse Witches and I gave it four stars. I really liked it. And then <laughs> I have an audiobook on the go that I'm almost finished, which is Halloween themed, which is Cackle, which is shaping up to be a three star, but I'm not going to get it finished. And then my third book is Nettle and Bone, and I'm on page 77 and it's 240 pages. <laughs> and I fell asleep reading it last night, not because the book is boring. It's actually really good. I think this is potentially a five star read. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. It is. It's good. Sound the alarms. I'm just really tired. <laughs> and I just don't think I'm going to finish it before I go to bed tonight, especially because we have to hand out candy to all the trick-or-treaters. Oh yeah, tonight's an exciting night. Mom was a pirate today. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's whipping up the costume again, though. I took the costume off. I just have the top and the boots on. Yeah, so. I was a bee. Not that you can tell right now. Yeah, when we get home from school, the costumes come off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My costume came off at lunchtime, let me tell you. Yeah, but this is a good one. So I'm not finishing it because it's not good and I will finish it. Just not before Halloween. I don't think so. Yeah, so let's do some Halloween things and trick or treat and things like that. Ooh. 